What's up everyone, Tom the Dilettante here. I don't know about you, but one thing that I really love is a good cup of coffee. And whenever I'm out camping, overlanding, or just away from home, I've always struggled to make a good cup of coffee. I've tried everything from like high quality freeze dried stuff to uh, French presses and whatnot, and it's all okay, but I just haven't hit that magic recipe for a good cup of coffee. Now, in talking to some friends, other overlanders, and checking out different channels, and even some comments on my own channel, I've put together a new kit of stuff that I think is gonna get me a little bit closer to that perfect cup of coffee that I just savor every time I'm out and about. Pieces of advice varied, and some of the main ones were, for example, the coffee beans. Get freshly roasted coffee beans. I've heard it said that coffee beans more than two to four weeks old since it's been roasted are gonna start to degrade in quality. Number two, use whole beans and grind them fresh when you're ready to use them. I've heard it told that once the beans are ground, they'll start to oxidize and it'll start to compromise the flavor. Number three, use a burr grinder. Allegedly, this gives you better control over whether you need fine or coarse grinds. Number four, I've been told the AeroPress is a great way to make a cup of coffee when you're out and about. Never had a cup of coffee made through an AeroPress, never tried making one myself, but I just got myself one and we're gonna test it out today. Number five, from a camp stove point of view, how do you heat in the water? So far, I've usually just used like a single or double burner Coleman camp stove or something to that effect. But you know, it's proven to be a lot to just drag out and set up, connect a big ass propane container just to boil some water for some coffee. So sometimes I found my lazy ass just not going through all that rigmarole for a cup. That being said, I now have these little camp stove that are meant more for like hiking and I'm gonna give that a shot. I think it should work out pretty well. So what do I have here today? Let's start with the beans. I picked up a set of freshly roasted beans from a local roastery, whatever you want to call them. Uh, I've never had like freshly roasted coffee before, so I'm super stoked. And I will tell you that this stuff smells amazing. Ah, I wish you could smell that, it's fantastic. So local roaster, um, you can Google Maps it or just Google it, see if you have one near you. I ended up ordering this online and uh, it's a small batch roast as you go kind of thing. Next, I picked up this West Coast Chef Burr Grinder. This hand grinder, uh, you know, didn't want to power one since I'm out and about. And this thing's pretty cool. Again, never done this. I'm not much of a coffee connoisseur. I just know that I like good coffee. I've just never known how to make the damn kind of cup. So this West Coast Chef thing, you drop the beans in there, it collects it in here once you grind it, and it allows you to change the uh, coarseness of the grind just through this here, which I think is pretty cool. So I've got it set to like a medium, medium coarse setting because again, that's what I've been told I should be using in the AeroPress coffee maker. Speaking of which, the AeroPress. So this cool little compact doodad, it comes with this little rubber cap. It's wet because I just washed it, but it's got this press uh, and the way it's supposed to work is you take this cap off, it's dripping water, uh, you place a filter in there, either regular paper type filters or you can get a stainless steel filter. And I'll demonstrate it in a bit, but basically you put all your coffee grinds in there, you dump the hot water, set this in there, it brews, and then you press it through. So we'll see this in action here in a moment. Next, for the stove, check this thing out. This is an MSR uh, burner. I, it's amazing how light this is. So in this little container, you get this little doodad here, and this is the burner. So this pops out, this is your gas control, and then each one of these legs just fold up like this and yeah it's a little it's a little goofy there we go and you end up with this burner and then this burner screws on to one of these fuel tanks what is this this is isopro so pardon my ignorance here but i've heard it said that this thing gets super hot super fast and that's what we're going to check out today um, this is pretty exciting i just hope that the pot stays balanced on here well enough and doesn't you know end up scalding my ass next i picked up this stanley stainless steel uh, container that you can use to boil water or you know make food or whatever and it actually comes with these two cups that sit inside of it so these go inside here right now it's full of water in anticipation of making coffee this handle folds over the lid to keep it relatively in place and then when you fold out the handle it clicks and spring loads here so that you can actually hold it like this this thing's full of water right now and you can see it's pretty easy to manipulate so pretty cool stuff. Now let's go ahead and get the stove set up, start boiling this water, we'll see how long it takes, and then let's make some coffee.
I've never done this before. It's kind of cool. Well, that's pretty cool. Freshly ground coffee. That smells great. Man, look at that baby go. That thing's getting hot. You know, I bet you that thing would stand up to the wind pretty well too. While we're waiting, we'll go ahead and get the press ready. So set the main cup down, grab the bottom part of the press, take off the cap, put in a fresh filter, and then set the brewing canister back on top of the cup. Toss in your coffee grounds, and wait for the water to boil so that we can get this thing brewing. Okay, that took about five minutes to get to a roiling boil on this full thing. Now, the way I understand it is I'm gonna take that, I'm gonna to toss it up, uh, pour the hot water in here, use this little stir that came with the AeroPress, mix it up a little bit, set this on top of it, and it's gonna create a vacuum seal, so it'll prevent the, the, the fluid from going down through the filter. Uh, and let it sit there and brew. And then after about 90 seconds, we'll go ahead and press it down and it'll make me a nice hot cup of coffee. So let's see how well that works. All right, now we press. That smells and looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and pour it into my main coffee mug just to see how clear it is. Now, I don't know about you guys, but if I were watching this video, that last shot would have made me salivate. Let's see how it is. Hmm, that is much better than anything I've made out in the field so far. All right, this is gonna be my new setup. We'll see how well it actually performs in the field, but uh, right now I'm pretty optimistic. That burner is strong. I think it's gonna be pretty wind resistant. The whole setup is pretty compact, minus the hand grinder with the handle. That might be a little awkward to pack. But everything else is stuff I would have brought, uh, brought along with me anyway. Mm. All right, I'm gonna to have to close this one out and finish that cup of coffee before it gets cold. But there you have it. So based off of this one experience, I can say I would now recommend freshly roasted beans, freshly ground beans using a burr grinder. Um, this little burner stove, dude, it gets hot fast. So I think that's pretty awesome. And this AeroPress, pretty cool. Uh, I can see why people like that. It filters the co coffee really well. It's easy to use, easy to set up, easy to clean. And uh, yeah, if you're interested in looking up any of these things for yourself, I'll put links to them in the description below. And I think I'm also gonna make them available on my Amazon store. On that store is only things that I own and use and would recommend to friends or family. So I'm not putting up a bunch of bullshit on there just to sell it and make a buck. Uh, everything on there is something I use, and if there's something on there that's on my wish list that I haven't yet used, I will flag it as such. But anyway, give it a shot. Go enjoy a cup of Morning Joe. Uh, if you're a black coffee drinker like I am, this setup, mm, very good. So have a wonderful day. Until the next time, this is Tom the Dilettante saying keep on tinkering, keep on learning, and stay caffeinated. Take care.